Hello again, I'm Polly Middlehurst at Proactive Investors in London and today we're talking once again to Ed Stacey from Capital Network and today Ed we're talking about CY Global. Uh, they've just had their Q3 numbers out, they beat consensus. What's the details on that? Um, yes, yeah, so as you say, uh, revenues growing in the quarter, uh, the EPS loss narrowing, so we're still converging on that break even, and as you mentioned, beating consensus. So a good positive set of numbers from CUI. I think the real focus is um, how are the pieces starting to stack up looking into 2019, because the real value in CUI is some of these very big growth opportunities, in particular the, the gas PT product that we wrote all about in our, in our previous report a couple of months ago. Um, and so it's looking at how that 2019 outlook is shaping up as well. Otherwise, you say the actual quarter itself was a very good one. So give me some more detail then on the positive developments from that. Uh, the positive developments in terms of the growth drivers, the things we're focusing on, gas PT, the big one. So the gas PT is this product which can monitor natural gas as it travels through the gas network or as it travels into a power station, particularly measuring the calorific content. And it gives, for the first time ever, gas companies have a cost-effective and near real-time way of making the, these measurements. So gas PT is a big, big product for CUI Global. What's happened in the last few months, we've had some firm purchase orders in the UK relating to uh, biomethane. So biomethane in the UK is a big um, government target to increase uh, the use of this. CUI offers really the only uh, technology that can enable this. And we're starting to get that now coming through in more orders and there's a big bid pipeline as well. So positive developments there on the biomethane. Also, um, new uh, efforts emerging to sell gas PT into China. So early um, evidence that the new partnership they have with Samsung, the big German distributor, and that's what gets them into China. Um, so that is starting to show signs of bearing fruit. And then finally, though, on an entirely different product, uh, the ICE product, ICE, the uh, Intelligent Control of Energy. So this is power distribution, electrical power distribution into data centers and a positive development there with a selection by SAP um, for a testing program to potentially use this through their data centers. So a few positive developments really in terms of that, those big growth drivers. It must be said though, aside from those growth drivers and the positive developments that you described, the share price has been under pressure recently, largely because of what's happened in Italy. Can you tell us a story there and why that's been such a worry? Right, so yeah, Italy, obviously it's relating to Snam Retta, the big uh, gas grid operator in Italy. Huge order for gas PT. The order has already been placed, but the big program of overhauling the gas grid has been placed on hold a couple of times uh, due to regulatory issues that just need to be worked through. And the problem, of course, is political instability has meant there hasn't been a stable government there to deal with all those issues. I think in the last few months, you're right, the share price has come under pressure as there's been more political issues in Italy. People are looking at macro worries there. But actually, in terms of what's happening regarding this program, you're not looking to the Italian government to write a check here. It's not going to be paid for by the government. It's just about signing off the architecture of the gas grid. And in fact, they've now appointed an energy authority which has the power to sign off on all this. So I think we are actually getting progress in Italy. In terms of what that does for the share price, if in the next couple of months we get regulatory approval in Italy, I think you'll see the share price really snap back sharply. It will be a big driver for the shares. But another way to look at it is actually just look at the valuation now, and there's details of this in our report. I think what's priced in now um, is very little optimism uh, in terms of these big growth drivers. And whether it's coming from the UK or whether it's coming from the Samsung partnership or from the ICE program, if we just get movement on some of these fronts, I think the valuation now is, is just too low. Ed Stacey, thanks very much indeed. And for that full report on CUI Global, hit the I in the corner of your screen.